we are now heading it towards the grass gym, which is past this point right here. But I need to figure out how to also get up there because I don't see. Oh, wait, I can just. I can just go around here. Oh, I don't even need to do that. Actually, I forgot. I can jump so high now that I can just clear that area. Never mind. And we're on our way to the grass gym. That easy. I also just realized I don't have any fire type moves for the grass gym. So, I got to figure out a new way to take care of that. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's the uh, the fire uh, star girl, team star. Which means that if they if we defeat them, we get a TM, I believe. So, we can use that TM probably on Lips. And then Lips should be able to solo the grass gym. So, let's take down the fire team star leader and then we should have a very easy time with the grass gym i am gonna have to have uh catnip sit this one out unfortunately because of the whole you know burning thing going on there and them being made out of leaves but boy we'll be back in the next uh battle jen what's up clavel as i've told you the name's clive please don't forget it now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, uh, Cassiopeia I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall, with few have already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with the students from T uh, Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Jen. Understood. I will take down this base. Lickety split. Because I need the TM that they have here. How's it going? What's it doing? Whoa, whoa. You can't be here. This base belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, like... I'll have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? Uh, show me what that self-defense do. Well, all right, time for me to self-defense the snot right out of you. They do be hitting that star pose immaculately, though. Hound door. Lips. All right, Lipth is Aqua Tail. I should have put Lipth with a TH. Hit him with... Is Ice Fang? No, Ice Fang would not be super effective against Fire. What am I saying? There we go. Easy. You think that's, that's their only uh, Pokemon? It was. I defended myself all right, but it wasn't enough. All right, go on and tell them. Tell them that I'm ready for the challenge. You're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? Call me Jen. Thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista, Star. Hey, Jen. How's it going, Clive? Wink, wink. Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire cruise base. I thought I'd come give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Foom. Oh, the Funko Pop is back. Is that you, Ch Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Uh, do you... Is this your Pokemon? This is Charlos the Charcadet. Foom. He's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Charlos, wait! Oh, he's gone. Looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's uh, fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry. I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Jen. Understood. Understood. Oh. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
stationed inside that base is Team Star's fire crew, the Shedar Shedder, the Shedder Squad. Their boss Mela is the best all around of the team. She fixes uh, any and every problem thrown her way through her methods are, although her methods are heavy handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now her grunts are hard at work inside the base trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take down all the grunts nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out to confront you. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Shedder squad off the map. Understood. That'll be, I think there's five bosses, right? So this should be three of five that we take down here. I am ready. Yes. Mm-hmm. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making... <laughs> are finally making... I don't know why that made me laugh. Uh, making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know. If you've got the skill to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in under 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Break a leg. Alright, and it begins. Gyarados might just be able to solo every single Pokemon here. Might not even need to bring out anybody else all right only two more oh only one more all right this should be the last one easy don't get away from me our defenses are breached it's all up to the boss now lips has got this let's put the soul this entire team i don't know if i should immediately use terrestrialize and just start one-shotting everything or if i should just wait for a the, the car, the truck to come out. Those are some mean boots. Boss of the Team Stars fire crew, Mela. So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenged us so we'll beat you down. That's what the last two said. Hmm, right with the beat drop. I feel like if I use Waterfall when they're standing on the car, it should hurt the car too. Right here, right now, you're going down. Okay, so Torkoal. Oh, Sunlight is harsh. Torkoal. If we do... Let's do a Dragon Dance. Torkoal should not be able to stop uh, Lips, or at least one-shot Lips. So, that means that with Dragon Dance now going off. I should be able to one-shot everybody. Hopefully, I can one-shot the vehicle. I'm going to wait to terrestrialize. You're hyping up that eight damage just did to me. I'm going to wait to terrestrialize until we get to the vehicle. Once we get to, what's it called? Rev of, rev, rev of room? I'll, I'll terrestrialize. I just don't want to waste it yet. Wait, they only have two Pokemon. So one's the car. Oh, I thought this would be a lot longer of a battle. Okay. Uh, no, we'll stay with this. I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. I just realized we can keep lips for the gym battle. Because lips can use uh for, for the grass gym battle. Because we can just use... Uh, Ice Fang on all the grass Pokemon. So we might not even need to change anything with the team. I can just keep uh, Lips out in front. Blazing Torque. Maybe this will one-shot him, maybe? Question mark? Oh, nope, but close. Speed rose from getting smacked? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Another car totaled. Your insurance company is not going to like that.
Easy. Easy. Oh, is this really how it's going to end? What a hassle. Show me what happened a year and a half ago. About a year and a half ago. <laughs> Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Millie. I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get the hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed, is it not, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? And if you're any better, Mela, being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Orti. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surely attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surely attitude is what people know her for. What? Well, come on, not you too, Aerie. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star, it's finally happening. The big boss, what prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. Hmm. I burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. The Gyarados of yours really let us have it. His name is Lips. Don't you stomp towards me like that. Beat me in a battle is a huge deal. So here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Thank you, thank you. But did she did she punch me when she went to go shake my hand? Well, I'm mad. You can have this TM too. Flame charge. Hmm. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Gyarados. Okay. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Melo from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? It's Clive. Name's Clive. Foo. A Charcadet? Wait. Oh? Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by the way his uh, flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Ooh. Oh, Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's, uh, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? Mm hmm. The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. We've never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Uh, yeah. I guess you wouldn't know. For me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. It's that word again, that treasure word again. Y'all just keep getting these A pluses. Jen, it's me. Metal Star Badge is now yours then? Indeedy it is. Are you gonna get lost in thought in a second? Now that there's no boss let's let uh, there's no boss to lead them, the rest of Shatter Squad shouldn't last long. There they go reminiscing again. Mela two. I've got a lot on my mind right now. So Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star. The one they call the big boss. Uh, Who's this person like? What do they like? What they do? Where are they? You control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. It's, it's you. I know it's you. I know it's you. Just admit it. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it that they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as, as promised. 
Thank you. And more TMs. And I'm guessing more TM material. Todoroki. If you would please. How's it going? Sounded like a pretty serious phone call. How long were you standing there? I wasn't talking to you. Man. Penny just can't catch a break. Oh, So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia, I mentioned him to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? What you mean? I just... That's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't think you gave me the materials for last time. Just saying. Hi. And Jen, don't lose to those guys. Was there a doubt in your... In what situation have I ever almost lost to them for you to be like, don't lose now? And we are at the next village or town. Let me speak to the Poke Center here. There we go. Now we can fly here. I still don't know if we need to talk to the Pokemon Center or if we just visit around the area. If we'll be able to start flying there. Either way, it's time for the grass gym. Let's see how this grass gym goes. Let's see how hopefully not difficult their test is. Maybe their Pokemon level won't be that high. Which means we'll probably just steamroll through this one too. Am I stuck here? There we go. Hello. I wonder if there's a set path I'm supposed to be taking with these gems. Because I'm kind of just winging it. Hey, Jen. How goes it? I saw you going into the gym and came running. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't battle you last time we ran into each other. Don't get me wrong, I didn't chase you down just to battle you. And again, I guess I wouldn't mind a battle or anything if I wanted to. What did you say? Uh, I don't want to, but sure. Let's, let's, let's throw some hands real quick, some paws. Battle time, you and me, Jen. Wait, hold on. I want to be sure to pick the right Pokemon for where you're at in your journey. Let me just like to fine-tune my team, then we can battle. In fact, while you're waiting, go ahead and take on the gym. Oh, so we're going to fight after the gym. You're going to wait till my Pokemon are tired, huh? You loser. You weakling. Wait until we're tired to fight us. Welcome to the Arts uh, Art Zone. Art Zone? Art Zone Gym? Let me register you. Yep, name still Jen. It hasn't changed. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Completing the sun... Another high and sea challenge. Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork made by the people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embody these concepts, you try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artizone. I remember these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather up 10 of them and bring them to Sunflora Lawn and you pass the test. I'll register the Sunflora's lawn, uh, Sunflora Lawn's location in your map app to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the Stafford there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out there and have fun. Understood? Understood. So I just gotta catch 10 Pokemon. Alright. I am ready. Hi there, look at the Artisan Gym's Sunflora. Hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Alright. I wonder if I have to actually capture them or if I just have to find them. Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you've found Tense of Flora, please bring them back here to the Sunflora lawn. That's all from, uh, from me now. Good luck out there. Understood. So we're just literally playing hide and seek with Pokemon. I got you. I got you. It's like prop hunt. And I'm only looking for flowers. Oh, hello. So if I walk in here, do they just... Hello? There's two of them right here. There's three of them here. Four? Yes, I saw another one over here. Huh. 
We no 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 well, I think it is. They, they did it to themselves. They're gonna start following me now. There we go. Alright, so we got four here. Let's take these back. And I don't think I need to... The way they walk is so cute. But I don't think I need to wait to get all ten of them to bring them back here. I think I just bring back what I have. Oh no, I need to bring I need to bring back all ten. I can't just bring back four. Okay. Oh, there's another one. He's so sad. Oh, this one's sad too. How's it going, buddy? Why are so many of you sad? Oh, you don't want to battle? Apparently you want to battle. I did not expect you to turn around and fight after being depressed. But all right. I'm down. Let's just do crunch. I don't want to keep wasting Ice Fang. I don't want to hit the... The Pokemon Center. Right before the battle. I think I do have to explore north to get stronger battles, though. I, don't think, I really don't think level 40 is... That high of a level in Pokemon. I think... The issue is purely that... I'm in an area that's very low leveled. So I over leveled for the... Wait, was that? Yeah, I knew I saw one. Hey. So how many is this? We got six, seven. This should be eight. Oh, nine. Nice, only one more to go. Oh, hello, 10. There we go. Easy. Got all 10. Time to hit the gym. Well, first let me hand in all these flowers and then hit the gym. Well, you are dripped out over there. Anyway. Hey, I found your missing sunflowers. There they go. Happy as can be. Mm -mm -mm. Well done on finding all these sunflora. You pass the gym test with flying colors. Now, please head back to the lobby at the Artisan Gym to report your result. Got it. I found your flowers. Thank you. Now, let me fight the guy. I want my gym badge. Yes, I would like to battle him now. Yes. I feel like I'm going to curb stomp him. I really want to save the stronger gym for last, but I don't know which one it is. On the bright side, I know that regardless of which order I do these gyms, the Elite Four are kind of like in a set order, so that's going to be cool. I don't have to worry about accidentally doing like the more overpowered gyms. Because I'm going by the level of the Sunflora, it seems like this is one of the gyms that you could have started off with instead of the Bug-type gym. Hmm? Hmm? Excuse me? How you get up there? Wow. Not even a sprained toe will land that perfectly. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass-type Pokemon. I am also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. The perception you displayed in finding Sunfloor was truly... How should I describe it? Yes, it was truly avant-garde. Or avant-garde? I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Enough talk. We must begin creating our collaborative work of art. Mm. I'm down. Grass tips are my favorite. I trust that you are ready. It's time for your masterpiece to take shape. Oh, he has like thorns in his hair. That's dope. Aw, it's so cute. Well, I send out a... <laughs> I send out the Loctus monster. Artist creation and destruction. Struggle. Else your de uh, defeat will nourish my Pokemon. Huh. 
Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm a little, just again, a little over leveled for this. <laughs> all right, so let me let me defeat all the gyms that are like in the lower half around the school first, and then I'll start working my way to the top. Because I definitely did this in the wrong order. I started with the with the bug type gym, which was a little bit of an issue. Worked my way to the water type gym, which was way harder than this one. They avoided that attack? That's incredible. All right, his last Pokemon. Pseudo Wudo. We'll keep going. It's grass ground, right? I wonder if Ice Fang is still super effective against it. I imagine it is. I'm pretty sure that fire type moves are still super effective against Pseudo Wudo. Oh no, water type moves are now super effective, even though it's grass ground. I'm going to touch this work up slightly. I will call it Truly Wudo. All right. That's kind of corny. Ain't gonna lie to you. He, he, did, he did throw that Terra Orb out majestically, though. It's gonna be sad when he gets one shot and all those gems just disappear. Wait, it said super effective for Waterfall, no? Or did it say not very effective and I'm just losing my mind here? Oh, wait, it's because it changed types to just grass. That's why. With the uh, with the terrestrializing. Okay. Makes more sense. Pseudo Wudo looks so derpy. I love him. Let's go! Avant-garde. Are we cool? Oh, what artistic tactics you employ. The patterns of your moves, the minute details of your Pokemon's performance. Everything you did was honed to perfection. Our battle was in a word, art. Indeed, if we could not call that a work of artistry, then nothing else in this world could be labeled as such. If I were to judge your work, I would say it passes my inspection. Yes, a pass without exception. Bars. As proof of your artistic prowess, you may have my gym badge. Shall we take a photo as well? I wonder how artistic this photo is going to be. <laughs> Just a regular selfie, I guess. If you possess five gym badges, it will be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 45, and those Pokemon should follow your commands as well. To a fantastic trainer such as yourself, I would also like to offer this, a favorite of mine, Trailblaze. Hmm. My inspiration is overflowing as if drawn from a bottomless well. I will begin on a new piece of, at once. You must excuse me. Farewell. See ya. Bye. I guess it's time to face Nimona. I wonder if her Pokemon are going to be high leveled enough. <laughs> I imagine they will be because it seems like there's not really a, a linear path. So they're probably just basing it off of how many gyms I've completed. Another gym leader defeated. Well done. Rika informed me that there was an unusual trainer worth keeping an eye on. It seems she met you. I'd guessed as much. I had the pleasure of, ob uh, of observing your last match. I was impressed by the fantastic skill you showed. If you manage to keep your momentum and achieve champion rank, I will be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, hey, Jen. I've got my team all picked out. I saw you battling the gym leader. You just keep getting better. How good to see you again, champion Nimona. It has certainly been a while. Whoa, wait. La primera? With Jen? So she was the first champion? Wait, did I forget to give you the full explanation? Everyone calls Miss Gita uh, La Primera because she's just that. She's the real number one, even higher than us regular champions. She's the top champion. <gasps> I do indeed hold that claim, alongside my role as chairwoman of the Pokemon League, that is. I thought you were too busy to spend your time checking on, uh, checking in on gyms. I'm not here to inspect the gym. I've come to scout some rather promising young talent. Whoa, I look away for one second and you're famous, Jen, apparently. But hey, I found Jen first. Uh, let's calm down. You may be La Primera, but you can't go stealing him from me. I s first off, I'm nobody's prize. Thank you. Ha, uh, I suppose I'll have to get in line. 
That's right, Jen. Come on. Time for our battle. Quick, let's go. The battlefield's calling. One moment, please. Huh? What is it? I would very much like to observe this match, if that's all right. Oh, totally fine with me. Sounds fun, right, Jen? Sure. Thank you kindly. I'm already excited to see you two face off. There they go. Waltzing away. Let's be on our way, then. Hmm. You remember how it all works, right? Once you get badges from all the gyms, you have to throw down against the stronger Pokemon trainers around. Yes, you must face the Pokemon League. It is located in the northwest of Mesagoza. The Pokemon League is where trainers are reborn as champions. The greatest honor that they might dream of. Collect eight gym badges sets you up to take the champion assessment. If you can face the challenge of the final examiner and win, you'll become a champion. Just imagine how that moment would feel. Try getting into that champion mindset. Now set your sights on reaching that big important stage and let's bet. Oh, excuse me, one moment. I believe Jen's Pokemon may still be a little fatigued. Barely. Barely. I don't think we broke a sweat. Sorry, I got a little caught up in my battle hunger. We should be in great shape now, thanks to La Primera. Okay, Jen. Time to put our game faces back on. Let us have another fruitful battle. Alrighty. Gotta tighten the glove. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Lycanroc. Lip. Take care of this lip. I know La Primera is watching, but no need to get worked up. Just stay cool. I have, I have such little pressure on me. It's incredible. I'm not the one facing an unproven kid. Celerock. Huh. I'm not sure if Waterfall is super effective against them. All right. Fair enough. That was a good one. Your move really had some zing to it. Yeah, it was a real zinger. To Palmo, uh, we'll switch out. We'll switch out to uh, Overbite. Let's see if Overbite can one-shot Palmo. Palmo is so dang cute. All right, Bulldoze. Oh, they're fast. Oh, they use quick attacks, I guess. Fair enough. Never mind. Overbite just absolutely decimated Palmo. Victory Screech! Gumi. Uh, we'll keep Overbiting because I don't know who Gumi is. Oh. This one. I don't know what is super effective against him. I'm going to use Dragon Claw though. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> Another victory screech. Qua Quavel. Uh, I believe they're a ground type Pokemon, right? So, Catnip. Wait, Qua Qua. Is that the evolved form of a. Uh, the starter? Wow. You seen this, Primera? I'm getting backed right into a corner. It is. Oh, they're hitting the Jiggy! Time to Terrasalize. Watch, I'm gonna make La Pimera's eyes light up. Bro, they're getting Jiggy! Look at those moves! Hitting the two-step on me! And they Terrasalize? Now they're beautifully hitting the two-step on me. That's incredible. Bro. Flower trick. Let's see how flower trick looks. Oh, that's wild. A critical hit right when it counts. Luck's on your side for sure. All right, then this is not, it's not all luck here. First off. Second off. Sounds like you're being a sore loser. Hope the sun's back. Be 
people are going to start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. Hmm. So, thoughts? Mullet! Let's go! Mullet, I think they evolve into Salamence? No, they don't evolve into Salamence just yet, right? It turns like that egg Pokemon. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Shell gone. Oh, an amazing display of talent, even against one as skilled as champion Nimona. That was a splendid match. I enjoyed watching very much. Now even La Primera thinks uh, you're one to watch. You've got so much potential. The way you're going, I better watch my back. You know, since the first time we met, I've been really sure of one thing. You're going to become a champion, no doubt about it, Jen. The rest of these gyms, you can take them. 100% no problem. I agree. In fact, you should take this considerate investment in your future. Terra Blast. Uh, if the user is Terra Salize, it unleashes energy of its Terra type. The move inflicts damage using the attack or special attack stat, whichever is how. Oh! Hmm. If a Pokemon uses that move while Terra Salize, the move's type will change to the. Oh, okay. One day, Jen, you and me are going to have the greatest battle of all. I know it. I'm going to train up even more than I already have been. There they go. Off the train. She shows you such support and friendship, or perhaps, perhaps she hopes you truly might rival her. Hmm. No. I think it's no mere hope. She seems to have complete faith that you will catch up to her. At any rate, allow me to return you to the gym where I found you. Do I need to be walked back to the gym now? I feel like I'm a 10 year old on an adventure across an island alone. But you have to walk me back to the gym that's right next door? Alright. <laughs> 